Yo, what's up, everybody? Cameron Van Hoy here. Great to see you all again. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, I want to talk about a very nuanced little thing that I came to learn when I released my own movie. Um, and I think it's a problem. I think it's a problem for filmmakers. I think it's a problem within the business. And it's just not fair. So let's get into it. If you want to make a product, any kind of product, right? You can do that now. You can make your own product. You can get it wholesale from Alibaba, from China or wherever else. And you can make your own Instagram page and make your own Shopify and your own website. And you can sell that product. And you can run ads on Facebook and uh, Instagram and TikTok and all these other places. And you can get analytics. And you can see who's clicking. And then you can try to get the cost per click down. And then you need to see what the conversion rate is to people who come to your store. And then what the conversion rate is to people who actually buy your product. And then you have to find this equilibrium of how much you're spending versus what you're bringing in from your sales. And, you know, it's a thing, but it's it's like it's almost like this new entrepreneurial world that we live in where every and anyone can start their own little business, go direct to consumer, sell their products, um, and be their own boss, right? And, and do their own thing, find their own path, forge their own way. And I love it. I think it's fantastic. And there's tons and tons of people that are making a lot of money. They're ma making a living or making a fortune doing this, right? Filmmakers. Let's say you're a filmmaker and you want to do the same thing. You make your own movie, however you make it, right? You make this film, you think it's really good, you got something, whatever it is, you know, you're excited about it. Maybe it's super small and humble, or maybe you get movie stars and all kinds of people in it. And then you want to go release it, right? Now, you can get a film on iTunes, you can get it on Amazon, you can have it on those platforms where you get most of the income, they take a percentage, just the same way as like Shopify takes a small percentage. Now, the percentage Shopify takes of an order is much less than the percentage that say an Apple will take of someone renting a film, which is a whole other thing. But Apple and these places take a lot anyways. Any transaction happening on the app store, as an example. So if you're an app developer, all of those transactions, I think are charged at like 30%, which is a lot, right? It's just a lot. Um, but nonetheless, you can do that with your films. You can put it on a variety of different platforms and the income comes to you. The only problem is, and this is not cool, is they don't give you any analytics. You, ca you cannot get any analytics on your film if you put it on one of these platforms, which analytics. I mean, we are in the era of analytics, right? Everything we can get analytics. I can get analytics on any one of these videos that I post on YouTube, any piece of merch that I might sell in my online store, I get analytics for, uh, on all the engagement on all my social platforms, I get analytics. So why is it if a filmmaker wants to release their film on one of these platforms, they can't get any analytics. There's no way to see how many people within iTunes or within Amazon or within, you know, YouTube's movie renting platform or anything like that are clicking, following through, where they're coming from, what sent them to that link, how long they stayed. Very valuable information. And I take problem with that. You know, I don't think that is fair. I think it's a problem in the marketplace. And I think it's an addressable issue that someone really creative needs to solve um, because more and more creators are going to be making their own content and wanting to monetize it and put it out there. And not all the time do you want to just put it up on YouTube as something to watch for free. That's ad-based, right? Many times you want to charge. And you want to use these platforms where, you know, there's the eyes, right? When people want to rent a movie, they're going to Amazon, they're going to iTunes. These are the places that they're going. Um, so why can't you get the data? Like, why are they keeping that data back? And I think, I think it's because they're competing with independent filmmakers, right? They are competing. They are making their own movies, releasing their own films, buying films, licensing films, putting them out there. Um, and they're not sharing any data. And we know this already, right? Like Netflix and iTunes, these places, A Apple TV, they're not letting you know how many people stream this. They'll say like, oh, this was the biggest one ever, or, you know, but there's no, there's just this silence, when it comes to actual monetization, data, what's really occurring um, behind the scenes on these large platforms. It's very strange. I mean, even the box office, 
I mean, we've come, we've become so accustomed to the box office, letting everyone know how much a movie made at the theater to the point where it's, it really is too much. I mean, let's, do you really care how much money a movie made at the theater? If you're going to go see it really, is that the metric? Is that the metric? You know what I mean? Like, that would be like me only eating at McDonald's because, you know, hey, McDonald's, they sold the most burgers, right? Like, it's got to be the best burger because, man, they've sold the most. What? How did this happen? You know, and I think Scorsese spoke about this recently, that people are too obsessed with the box office numbers. It never used to be like that. It's, it happened in the 80s, ran up through the 90s, and it's just, it's still here where it's just the box office on this movie. Who the cares you know like black adam just came out everyone's like oh 69 million box office whatever that means i don't even think it's that great but whatever maybe it's good for the market today who cares great marvel made more money awesome good for them is it is the movie cool i mean i'm gonna see it i don't know i haven't seen it yet but like my point is one it's annoying that metric is really annoying. But two, even the theatrical distribution world, we know the numbers, right? What's up with the streamers? What's up with the VOD platforms not sharing this information? It's not good for filmmakers. They don't want independent filmmakers getting this data. That's really what it comes down to. They don't want independent artists and creators really knowing the metrics on the work that they put out there. And by the way, this is also apparent in just the fact that if you do put one of your films on one of these platforms, they're not going to put it on the home screen. That is reserved for their affiliate partners and their content, right? Now, of course, something really breaks through. Maybe they'll put it up there, but they are controlling the ecosystem in a very specific and dynamic way that I don't think is healthy for the larger market because there are so many great films out there that we don't hear about. So many. Now, yes, there's a lot of garbage too. So how do you sift? How do you find things, right? That's where curation comes in this modern world. You got to follow good influencers and pages, creators, so you can really curate the content that you're, you're consuming and try to seek out interesting, special um powerful new works, right? Um, which, I, you know, I grew up doing that. You know, I grew up loving cinema. I was one of those. I, when I was coming up, I was just excited to discover everything. And this was pre-YouTube, pre-Criterion Collection, you know, pre any of this stuff. So I had to you had to go to the library, you had to read, you had to learn about filmmakers and then watch all of their other movies and then see the actors in those movies and watch other movies they're in and see who directed those movies and then watch all those directors' films. And you kind of just found all the work. And I loved it. I loved going back and watching all the classics and watching avant-garde things and watching independent films and watching foreign films and really exploring the cool independent filmmakers of the day. Like I couldn't get enough. I was a cinephile. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I know there's a lot of people out there still like that to this day. Um, and there's a lot of great movies still made to this day by more than just the usual suspects that have kind of the direct connection of, uh, you know, communication to larger audiences. It's just harder to find because these tech companies are completely it's, it's like shadowing all of it, right? Which, which, you know, it's, it's a distortion in the creative market. That's my piece on this topic. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.